Hi, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to this month's episode of GBTV. We've got a lot going on here in December. Without further ado, Karen, what are you talking about? I am talking with Tracy about all of our holiday programs happening at the library. Hi, I'm Liz. I'll be talking to Christina about favorite books and movies of 2018. And Laura and I have a special segment, and we're going to look back at all the fantastic things that happened here in 2018. So let's get going. Hi, I'm Karen Gilpatrick and with me is Tracy Hansen, who is the Customer Relations Team Leader. Tracy, do you want to tell me what your job entails? Well, as a Customer Relations Team Leader, I help oversee the staff on the first floor of the library in the Marketplace area. And we're there to welcome patrons to the library and to help them navigate all of the services available to them here. And actually, can I share a fun fact with you? Yes. We were doing some research on something else and came across a TripAdvisor stat that ranked Gail Borden Library as number one in the community. Wow, why is that? Well, at the risk of sounding immodest, because we're pretty fantastic, <laughs> we have a lot going on here at Gail Borden, and it's a really new, fun, and interesting experience for people almost every time they come. Uh, we've got everything from you know, Oculus Rift virtual reality things to a preservation station upstairs where people can transfer old slides and photos onto newer formats and things like that. So there's just so much happening here and so much available to people that they never knew they had access to for free that it's just great to introduce them to all those things every day and see the reaction and listen to them talk about their experiences here. Awesome. So we also have uh, rotating exhibits, which right now we're having our Build It With Lego Bricks um, that's bringing in a lot of people that come um, from across the metro. We've got people from Chicago um, and Naperville. Mm -hmm. um, what do you see when um, you're working down there? Well, we are in a unique position to be front and center, and so we get to see all those people you just mentioned coming from everywhere to visit Gail Borden for these exhibits. So now for the Build It Lego exhibit, we have giant Lego characters in the entryway and they're behind us and we can see the kids coming in and the looks of joy on their face as they dash in to check out those cool figures. It's really awesome down yeah. there. Yeah. Um, so now that the holidays are coming up, uh, do you have a lot of families coming in asking about our programs? Oh, absolutely, and they're things that they look forward to each year. Yeah, uh, Gail Borden um, has a lot of great holiday programs. Um, we've got a holiday sing-along with Mrs. Claus that happens at our Rako branch. Um, and that's on December 20th. We've got a gingerbread house workshop, which will be really fun. It's at our South Elgin branch, uh, and that's December 16th. And then here at the main library, we also have the Elgin Alive holiday movie, which is gonna show the animated classic, The Snowman, and that's on December 11th. And then we also have a Happy New Year party for uh, families, and that's happening at all three locations. Um, so if you wanna learn more about these programs and all the other ones we're having, um, check our website, eggielborden.info. And that's all I've got, so thanks, Tracy, for uh, coming here and talking about everything with me. Sure, thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Liz Clemens, and I'm here today with Christina Johnston. Hi, Christina. How Hi. are you? Hi, thanks. How are you, Liz? I'm good. Welcome to GBTV. Thank you. And could you tell us what you do at the library? Certainly. I am a collection services librarian, and I purchase all the adult material for all the libraries. Yeah. I have the best job. I get to shop <laughs> for books and movies all day. <laughs> How fun. It is. Wow. So a lot of great books came out in 2018. Could you tell us some that were popular with our Gail Borden Library customers? Certainly. Our most circulated book in 2018 was The Fallen by David Baldacci. It is part of the Memory Man okay. series with the character Amos Decker. He used to be a pro football player but had an accident okay. and somehow the accident enhanced his memory and he uses that to be a private detective. Okay. 
And if you ever want to keep up with a series, you can join his fan club, which will, when we purchase a new book in the series, we'll put the holes on for you. You won't have to keep up and remember when the next one's coming out. Awesome. So how does somebody join the fan club? You can go to the our webpage and go under Goodreads and fan club. Okay. All right. So our next book is The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn, which is a thriller. It is a debut novel for this author. It has an unreliable, agoraphobic narrator. Okay. And it is, Booklist called it neo-noir. So it's supposed to mimic kind of the Alfred Hitchcock mm. type movies. It's, it's a really good book. Our third most circulated book mm is James Patterson, who is always very, very popular author here in general. And this is called The 17th Suspect. It is the 17th installment in his Woman's Murder Club series, oh, okay. who is a group of ladies, a medical examiner, a police officer, a district attorney. They all work together to solve crime. Cool. Those are great books. They are. So there were a lot of great movies that came out, two in 2018. So. What were some movies that were checked out a lot at yeah. the library? We had some great blockbusters. The most circulated movie of 2018 had over a thousand circulations was Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. I mean, it's got the rock in it. How could it not be great? <laughs> but it also has Jack Black, Kevin Hart, Nick Jonas, as well as Karen Gillan, who you may not recognize her, but she is also Nebula from the Marvel Universe oh, okay. in the Marvel movies. Cool. Our second most circulated movie is Black Panther. The, it's, also, it's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The hero, T'Challa, becomes king when his father dies and he also inherits his superpowers of Black Panther. The author, the writer and director for this movie just signed on to do the sequel, so that should be coming out soon. Oh, okay, wow. Oh, Our third most circulated is movie one. is The Justice League. This is from the DC Multiverse, and it is after Superman has died, Wonder Woman and Batman recruit other superheroes, such as Aquaman and Cyborg and The Flash, to defeat mm. Steppenwolf. Now, this had a budget of over $300 million, which makes it oh one of gosh. the most expensive movies ever made. Oh, wow. Yes, but it, it's a good one. I mean, Wonder Woman. Over. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Christina, thank you so much for taking the time out from your, from your fun job to come <laughs> here and uh, talk to us today about 2018 books and movies. Thank you very much, Liz. Thank you. Hi, I'm Denise Raleigh, and I head up the communications and the development here at, here at Gil Borden Public Library, and I'm with Laura Espinoza. She's the head of our graphics department. And we're here with a look back at this fantastic year of 2018 here at the library. First off, thank you community. Thank you for coming through our doors in droves. It was a fantastic year for people using their library and we thank you. You know, we're here for you and we're so happy when you walk through our doors or you check out our eBooks. Yeah, you know, it means a world of difference to us to know that we're making a difference here in the community. First thing we want to talk about is our wonderful summer reading exhibit, which was extreme deep. Um, we have these exhibits here because they bring people into the library, they get people interested in a subject, they check out lots of books about that, but extreme deep was just a wonderful underwater exhibit. We had a record number of people from the community visit extreme deep. But more importantly, we had a record number of people who participated in summer reading. Uh, we thank everybody for coming, for enjoying. We especially thank our sponsors for supporting the exhibit and summer reading. Uh, it was a fantastic year here in 2018. Laura, what else did we have going in 2018? Um, 2018, we also had the tech fair. Um, it was. I think the first time doing something like this and we were so pleased with how many people showed up to learn about um, all the different technology that is around Elgin. Um, more than a thousand people visited to explore the, um, all the latest technology. Um, we're thankful for all the people who um, participated such as Fabric Images, LL Bean, Acme Design, Advocate Sherman Hospital, City of Elgin, Elgin Fire Department, and the Water Rescue Team was a great addition to the event.
Open Elgin was fantastic in its second year. Uh, that's a collaborative effort with the Chamber of Commerce and the Enhancing Elgin Committee. Uh, tons of people came out. Again, we had a beautiful day for that. We had some new buildings on. We had the appellate court, the fire barn, the cobblestone. And what was really special for us at the library was Old Gail Borden Public Library was, was on the docket and so many people uh, came by. 2018 was the year that we started Passport Services, just an essential uh, service in the community that travels like ours, and that's been wonderful. Uh, what's so attractive about having Passport Services at this library is the convenient hours. I mean, we're open on weekends. We're open late. I do think we do close one hour mm -hmm. before the library closes, but again, we offer some really extended hours for families who need passport services. And uh, you have some kind of a uh, I have to add? Um, Jody on Facebook um, commented on one of our pass passport posts. I'm gonna read this as if I was Jody um, who commented on our post. My daughter and I got our passports at the library, super easy. If anyone is already there, you can get one of those light up buzzer discs like at a restaurant when you're waiting for a table and you can go chill with a magazine or find a book while you wait. There's other things you can do too. <laughs> so what else happened in 2018 that's really going to impact 2019? I'm glad you asked. The one major thing that people are going to see is that we brought home a bookmobile that's going to start service in April of 2019 and we're so excited about it. It's going to make a world of difference. It's going to be a traveling branch library. We can't wait to see it in action. 2018 was special for a very different reason here at the Gail Borden Public Library. We offered a service that we've never offered before. We had people graduate through career online high school through the library. There were four graduates who were honored this summer, but we've had more after that. It was a special ceremony. Dr. Sam was our commencement speaker, and Carol Metal was our musician that accompanied these three graduates that, they, that came to the ceremony. We've had other graduates since, and, and we're just happy to make this new service available. We thank Rails for really being a partner on our Career Online High School project, as well as other supporters. With Facebook Live and other streaming services being so popular in the community, we are pleased that so many of our community members are watching our live videos. Some of these events are Black History Family Festival, Baby Fest, Family Fun Fair, the Open Elgin um, Mansion. Um, we even have um, the occasional piano players. And one of the most popular series that we have is Kids Explore, where every month we highlight one Kids Explore program, such as printmaking, ocean in a bottle, cinnamon rolls, seed bombs, or baking donuts. Well, those are wonderful and, and again people watch those afterwards so that makes those videos live really important but then people can see what they did and they can do these experiments at home yeah. after they watch the video so that's really really wonderful another thing that we started this year was the green screen photo booth that thousands of people have enjoyed so far each month and they can send those to their cell phone mm -hmm. or email or email yeah. so it's wonderful to see how many people are using yeah. that 2018 was a great year from extreme deep to career online high school graduates to starting passport services. What a great year, and we're looking forward to a great 2019. I believe we probably could stand to attend the cupcake uh, decorating program. We could use we could yeah. use some lessons. Um, when is that cupcake decorating program? That is December 22nd at the Rako Branch. And speaking of desserts, not cupcakes, but ice cream, my favorite. We are having an ice cream social December 4th at 6:30, coupled with a kids Lego showcase. So kids from the community will be coming in and showing off their projects. So stop by for some Lego projects and ice cream. That's December 4th at 6.30. And if you're looking for a place to give a gift this December, please think about giving a gift 
to the Gail Borden Public Library Bookmobile. It's a great new service. We're starting in 2019. You can get to that page through the Gail Borden Public Library website and click on Donations and Bookmobile. Again, that's a great new service that's starting in 2019. If you feel like giving a gift, give it there, please. And we thank everybody who has supported the library in 2018. A lot of great things happened because so many people support what we do here. And now we have a special wish for everyone watching. Happy holidays and a happy, and happy new, new year. year. Hi, my name is Karen Schock, and I'm a member of the Gale Sales Volunteer Team. We come in every day and restock and refresh the books in Gale Sales. I've often found that this is a great place to do some Christmas shopping. For instance, my husband has always loved basketball and loved Phil Jackson, so this Sacred Hoops by Phil Jackson is a perfect gift for his stocking. My daughter teaches history and can't get enough of the Constitution. Here's a wonderful new book on the framers of the Constitution that she hasn't read yet. My son really appreciates wine, and this book will help him learn even more about this interest. And of course, some people love media and romance. We have a huge selection of DVDs, including The Big Sick, a great love story, and audiobooks, The Princess in Love. Perfect. And for the children in your life, we have a huge display of picture books, boards books, chapter books, nonfiction, media, anything that a child in your life is interested in. Besides being a perfect place to get stocking stuffers, I also come for other presents. One of my neighbors loves mysteries and Robert Parker. So I was able to buy her three different Robert Parker books. I'll put them on a stack, put a bow around them, and I'm ready to go. My other neighbor loves to garden, and this is a tough time for her, but I've got her three wonderful books on gardening that she will be able to read till spring comes again. All of these books are either one or two dollars, and because Gale Sales is staffed entirely by volunteers, every penny goes to the Gale Borden Library. We've been able to use this money to fund things like the summer reading program for children and for those incredible exhibits like the dinosaurs and robot zoo and deep space. You know, at Gale Sales, we always have revolving exhibits also. Of course, now we are featuring Christmas on our low table and on our high table. But these things change throughout the year. So while it's a great place to shop for Christmas presents, it's also a great place to shop all year long.